Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Chromebook Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to split screen or see both screens or both applications or anything, uh, any two applications side by side on your Chromebook. So on this channel I have a lots of Chromebook videos and you can see uh, some of them by going to the description box uh, below where I'll be putting some links and uh, for today's video we'll talk about how to split the screen in three different ways and the first way I'm going to talk, uh, talk about is uh, that you need to have more than one screen and then you cannot maximize your screen to make this work so if you have you know uh, maximized uh, your screen just you know minimize that and you have to make that screen your primary screen uh, which is you're working on to you know move that screen on the left or right so for example right now I have two screen here one is Google Play and you can see that you know the Google Play is the secondary screen right now and uh, the web uh, browser is the primary screen so if you just choose or select Google Play then this is your primary screen so let's go back to the browser uh, screen and you'd like to move this to the left or right uh, splitting in half so the first way you can do it if you take a look at right here which is see this kind of a square box right here this this is called a window resize box or maximize box so the first way you can do it you're going to put your cursor on here and you're going to hold your mouse or touchpad hold on to that so just click on it and once you do that you're gonna see that you know you can see two arrows uh, towards the left or right so I'm going to just bring this a little closer so let's say we have this right here and you're going to take your cursor inside that maximize uh, button or maximize box and just you know hold on to it by clicking the left uh, side on your mouse or just pre uh, pressing the touchpad so if you do that then you're gonna see two different arrows and these arrows actually pointing out to the direction where you can move the screen so let's say I'd like to move this screen to the left side so I'm going to just drag the arrow to the left and I'm going to just release the uh, hold which I was holding it before and it will move to the left so let's show it to you again so you're going to just you know put your cursor on here and hold it by pressing your touchpad right here so if you do that so your arrow should be inside that section or the maximize button or window resize button or box and then you hold the cursor and you're gonna see the arrow and let's look at it here so right here like this you're going to hold it and your arrow is going to be right here and you're looking at the both two arrows and then if you just drag your uh, cursor to the right it's going to move to the right so you did that now you're gonna see that you're kind of you know showing a shadowy uh, browser which is not there yet but you can see and I'm going to just release my finger so take a look at this so, okay so once I did that then you're gonna see that you know the browser is on the right now if you'd like to make this application on the left then you're going to be doing the same thing so you put your cursor here and again hold it on your touchpad or your mouse so you hold it and you can see that you know you're going to see two arrows right there and you'd like to move this to the left then drag your cursor to the left and kind of you're you know looking at the shadowy divider and you just release your finger this way and then here you can see that right now you have two beautiful split screen which would let you allow to have uh, work with both apps or both browsers or one browser and one app so that's one way so we're going to talk about the second way so let's just you know uh, put this in the middle so let's so we have it here and we have this one kind of here okay so now the second way you can do this is you have to just you know put your cursor on that application or browser 
and then you're going to just move it so the way you can move it again you hold it on the touchpad just like before so you can hold it on the touchpad and see it's letting me allow to move it to the left or right then once let's say you'd like to move this to the right so once you keep going keep going keep going keep going okay at one point you're going to sh uh, see a shaded uh, you know right side uh, for example let me just bring this little closer so you, you see that it, it changes to a shed and then at this point you can just release your fingers so I'm still holding it if you can see it right here and if I just release my finger right here and then you can see that this is already on the right and you can apply the same process to move this to the left here so you just you know put your finger on here right here on the touchpad and your cursor is on the application so if you do that then you're going to be moving it to the left and you can see that if you keep going at one point you're going to see a shadowy you know divider or area and you have to just lift let your finger go and then it's on the left so that's another second way to you know divide your uh, window screen now I'm going to show you another way uh, which doesn't uh, need you to touch anything or hold on to anything. So for example, let's say we have these two applications or browsers or one a browser, one application in this way. So I'm going to make this my primary browser right now or primary application I'm working on. And in order for you to do without touching or dragging anything, you need to do uh, touch these Two buttons so you need to work with these two buttons one is our keyboard so one is the alt which is right here mm, let me just bring this closer okay so if you look at it this is one of them right here and then the other button or keypad you're going to be using is the bracket which is right here so this is the right bracket and this is the left bracket we're going to be working on so now, now let's say you'd like to move this uh, towards uh, left so all you have to do, make this your primary application by clicking on it or by putting it on front and then hold the Alt key, which I did. And then you're going to have to touch the or hit the left bracket. So right here. Now, do the same thing again. Hit the right bracket. It's going to move to the right. So left, right. So you can do it this way. Now let's say you have one on the right and then you need to move up the second one then you do the sec uh, same thing again so press the alt button and hit the left bracket then it's going to be on your left and just to show you again you can press the right one it's going to be on your right so left right left right so these are three very uh, easy options you can use to uh, select a split screen or uh, view two different applications on your Chromebook at the same time. All of them I find fairly easy and simple, but I this is my opinion that uh, you know the holding the Alt and the bracket button or bracket uh, keypad uh, that's the easiest method you can have to move uh, your uh, applications or browser on the left or right to make it split screen. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Forget about subscribing to this channel, forget about liking this video, there will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.